video will be about zones of control. Six hexes immediately surrounding a combat unit comprise its zone of control. All combat units and vedettes exert a zone of control at all times, even into a hex occupied by an enemy unit. Leaders, pontoons and bagging trains do not have zones of control. If a friendly unit is in an enemy zone of control, the opposing units are equally and mutually affected by each other's zone of control. Terrain does cancel zone of control in certain circumstances. If there's a, a river between the two, the zone of control doesn't stretch across the river. It doesn't even matter whether that's bridged, unbridged or contains a ford. Admittedly, the river could become frozen in certain weather conditions and therefore the zone of control would pass across it. Zones of control effectively stop movement and uh, as, soon as, you, as soon as you enter an enemy zone of control you do have to stop and you can't leave that zone of control unless you're forced to retreat, you're forced to, re to move by a pulse, uh, you, you could be freed by the fact that the unit cast in the zone of control could be eliminated or forced to retreat. Um, it could be a night turn where you're asked to disengage. Another thing about zone of control in combat, during the combat phase, units in enemy zones of control must attack. And every single combat unit that is casting a zone of control against your units must be attacked in the combat phase. Okay, 